Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Gold walkthrough. In the last part, I took on and defeated the third Elite Four member, which was the fat old muscular Bruno. And in this part, I'm going to take on the fourth and final Elite Four member, which is Karen. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Ah, Karen, and it's off! Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I, I literally just choked there, and I sound like I just said the F word. But, anyways, so, um, yeah. Uh, that was, that was not smart at all. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so, so this chick is a, uh, dark type, uh, she's a dark type user, and she freaks me out because she's like 25 years old, and look at her hair, it's pure white. Um, so yeah, that kind of creeps me out. But anyways, she's a, she starts off with an Umbreon, um, which is a pretty good Pokemon. Um, I ha have Espeon on my team, but I'm not going to use it because Espeon will get destroyed by this guy, so yeah. Um, anyways, uh, fan attack, blah, 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 yeah. Uh, one more, one more surf will kill it, if I can just attack it, and I'm going to heal, because I don't want to risk it. Um, surf, come on, there we go. Alright, and barely get to the level, uh, 50, because I've actually, this is my third attempt making this video, so, yeah. Anyways, next up is Bioplume, and why in the heck do you have a freaking Bioplume? Like, seriously, Sneasel is a Johto and a Dark-type Pokemon, so you gotta have a Sneasel. Alright, you... Seriously, ser you seriously don't need, um, you seriously don't need a, um, Bioplume. I'm not sure why it took me so long to choose, um, but anyways, yeah, you don't need a Bioplume because it's not a dark type Pokemon, so exactly why do you have a Bioplume on your team? If they seriously, if, if they couldn't think of any more dark type Pokemon for her to have, why didn't you think of Sneasel? Like, seriously, like, come on. Um, but anyways, this plant there will knock it out, there we go, and get the little, and actually no, we don't get to level 51, um, almost, but not quite. And next up is Gengar, again, why do you have a Gengar? Like, seriously, it's more of a dark type Pokemon than, um, Bob Vileplume, but still, it's not, it's not a dark type Pokemon, so seriously, like, I don't know, I just, it doesn't make sense, like, how about Houndor? Houndor is a good Pokemon too, like, come on. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to Espeon, because I know um, Ghost-type Pokemon are actually super effective against Psychic-types, but Espeon uh, is, is a Psychic-type, which is super effective against Poison-types, like Gengar, so, yeah. Knock that thing out, and we almost get level 51. Not quite, but almost. And next up is Murkrow. Um, so, um, I'm going to go over to Polyworld here, because uh, I want Polyworld to get to level 50 in, in this, um... Part, so yeah, and I w and um yeah. Hopefully this this probably won't knock it out. Um yeah, to a KO, so that, that should be no problem. And speed fell, and van attack, and yeah, blah blah blah. And here we go. Now I can knock this guy out and get the level fifty. So there we go. Down goes Murkrow, and I would have used my Murkrow against hers, but we all know that my Murkrow would have beaten her Murkrow because mine is level fifty and hers is level level forty four. So yeah. Anyways, level 50, there we go. So, yeah. Um, and then, next up is, indeed, Houndoom. Now, guys, I would be using, um, uh, I would have actually probably used, um, uh, McCargo for, for Murkrow, and I would have used Polyworld for her Houndoom, but her, I've just, like I said, I've said, um, it's my third attempt, and her Houndoom used Crunch on Polyworld, and it did probably as much dam as much, um, damage as what, um, Polyworld has, I don't know, okay, anyway, it did a lot of damage, okay, it did more, it, it did more than half, so that's kind of, um, bad, so, yeah, um, I thought, um, Polyworld really has no chance against Houndoom, so, that's why I'm gonna switch out here and go to my cargo, because my cargo will kill this guy with a rock slide, and, yeah, and Crunch, which does a pretty good amount of damage to my cargo, but, this hopefully will knock it out, I don't, I don't know if it will, Almost, okay. Almost, guys, almost. Alright, now I'll knock this guy out with a, uh, with the strength, then never mind. Um, yeah, okay, now this rock slash should knock it out. Um, yeah, the trainers these days never use max potions. They either use potions, super potions, um, hyper, hyper potions, or full restores. Like, I'm talking about trainers are you battle. You never see them use, say, you know, you never see them say, oh, champion older, use the max potions. Like, you never see that. I got a credit plan, and of course, as per usual, I did not need it. But, anyways, we get the level 51, so that's cool. And, yeah, so we defeated Elite 4 Karen. So, there we go. Well, I feel good! 
I let's say the tree. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyways. Strong Pokemon, big Pokemon. Yes, I yes, you're right. I have strong Pokemon and you have strong, weak Pokemon. Yes, you're absolutely right. True skill tree should try to win with their favorites. I like your style. Hey, I understand what's important. Go on, champion this way. Champion, I thought I was done with it. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, guys, that's, that's right. There is indeed one more trainer left. And his name is... I don't want to go too too far up. Um... Yeah, there, you, you can see him. His name is Lance. So, yeah, guys, we're going to take on Lance in the next part. So, thanks, guys, so much for watching. I do appreciate it. God bless you all. Please write, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. The champion is waiting.